Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to apologize, but the past two weeks it's kind of been hectic with my job and stuff. I've kind of been working a lot. Um, there was really no time to film a video. Now, some of you guys know I don't really pre-record my videos. I kind of do them and then I upload them. Um, so yeah, so. I want to give you guys a little update, and I got a couple new things from Dollar Tree that I wanted to review um, that I think you guys will like. Um, anyway, update. So, this coming week, now let's see, today is, let me find the date here real quick because I'm an idiot. Okay, so today is the 21st. Um, we'll be moving in four days. So, you know, it's kind of a last video until we get settled into our apartment, which shouldn't take very, very long, but it will be there for a while, and I'll be back on regular updates. Um, so yeah, we're, you won't, guys won't see this anymore, this will be a whole completely different background. Um, so yeah, we're excited for that, but today's, that was it kind of it for the update, um, well, kind of, I work I, when we moved here, I got a job at Dollar Tree, and it just was hectic. I'll do a video on that because I feel like you guys should know what's going on regarding that. Um, and my door just set, shut. <laughs> uh, I'll do a little video on that, you know. They have some really unethical business practices, which is why I quit. I'll get more into that on another video. But today's little haulage review is going to be the Milani Power Lip that I found at Dollar Tree. Now, these the drugstore I th go for about, I think, $7, I want to say. Um, but it says lasting and moisturizing gloss stain. So, these seem to be like a lip stain and lip gloss, like all rolled into one. Oh, <laughs> it says a two-in-one gloss stain, new non-drying formula. So, this is the packaging. This, I already took them all out, but say kind of the packaging so you guys could take a look at it. Um, this is the first one. And they come in eight different colors and I actually have all eight colors for you guys. Um, but wanted to show you guys like the packaging and stuff like this. Now this is their normal packaging as well. I was kind of shocked to see that because normally when brands come to Dollar Tree they repackage them and they're a little different. And I know that again because I've worked at a Dollar Tree but I see people trying to sell them for more than they got them for, and it kind of like that's Dollar Tree packaging. <laughs> anyway, so this is the first one. This is called Red Control. So they look like this. They're kind of tiny, but you take them off, and they have a built-in brush, and it's you gotta twist it up. So we would assume. So did I get any product there yet? Let me just see. Let me just see. This is probably going to be really annoying for you guys. And I don't have any on the brush yet. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, my. <laughs> I think I got a little too much there. Yeah, I got a little too much. Well, there's red control right there. And I made a mess of my thing. Not fun. Um... They don't dry uh like I have the ColourPop lippies. Um and they're like mm, easier to apply, I think. But with like a dark color like this, I've heard that it's like really annoying to apply on your lips. And I'm not really gonna do lip swatches because I've heard bad things about that, but that is the first one. That is red control. So, and so as I wipe it off, and they stain, as they should, but <laughs> you're trying to remove it, and really? It's not coming off. Well, that is the first one. So yeah, you just kind of twist up on those. That is the first one. The second one is called Cabaret Blend. It looks to be like this mauve like wine plummy color. So we'll be, turn again. I'm just having fun with this. 
Did it come out yet? No. There it goes. Mm. So just be careful when you kind of twist it because it does kind of come out a little bit. And this one wasn't as bad as the other one. I'm not really saying like a glossy type formula of these. It's more like looking like a lips. It's just looking like your basic stain. That is Cabaret Blend. And it's almost like um, when you twist it up, it kind of just flows out, if that makes any sense. Um, it's like liquid. Not actually like a stain stain, but it's it's a liquid blend. Um, the next one is called Raspberry Tart. This is more like a, a dusty rosy type color, um, which is technically my favorite lip color, I feel, because it's better on my skin tone. And, I mean, I can, I'm kind of one of those people that can pull off kind of any type of lip look, but, I mean, I prefer my dusty roses. And then here is Raspberry Tart. I think this one's going to be my favorite, though, because... <laughs> And just knowing me, I love, again, I love my dusty rose colors, and, yeah. So just to give you a little hint, that's only, that's only from two, <laughs> two of them. So these seem to, instead of, I don't, I don't think they should call these stains, though. It, they don't act like a lipstick. They act more like a liquid lipstick, to be honest with you guys. Um, I'll show you guys when I, okay, no, I don't want, oh, I pulled out more than one. Uh, sorry, my makeup remover wipes tend to annoy the crap out of me. I use these ones from Forever 21. Um, I got them on sale and because the Forever 21 near me was closing. And, you know, instead of $5, I paid like 2 And I was like, ooh, yay. Clearance. Um, anyway, so the next one's called Pink Lemonade. I'm going to twist this up for you guys just to kind of show you what happens. Just to show you that it really does act like a liquid rather than a stain. Once it comes out. <laughs> we will get there, guys. We will get there. Okay, you guys see that? It comes out very liquidy. I mean, it goes on pretty smooth, but... Okay, here is Pink Lemonade. Just to give you guys a little swatch there. Clean this off. Because I hate it when there's clumps. Um, but yeah, it, it takes a while to dry. It doesn't dry that fast. Um, which is kind of not... I don't really like that because I need my... I need my lip color to dry pretty fast. And I'm applying it because then I want to be able to drink something. <laughs> the next one is macar macaroon, macaron, depending on who you talk to and where you are in the country or the world, depending. <laughs> yeah, ignore me. I'm being stupid. Um, but this looks like another dusty, rosy, cully, cully, cully. Yeah, Cully. Color. Whoa! I took a little bit too much there. Um, and when you first get it, it does kind of go on a little clumpy. But this is Macaroon. It's right now. Macaroon. I mean, I haven't tried these on my lips yet, so I don't know how they how they would react to um, if they're very drying or not. Just from the texture and stuff, I would say that they're very drying. But, you know, it all depends. Strawberry Sugar is the next one. This is a bit light pink. I mean, with stuff like, with stuff like this, you guys need to be careful because you always want, whenever wearing a liquid lipstick, you always want to moisturize your lips and exfoliate them to, for fear of cracking. And nobody wants cracking chapped lips. 
So, I think one of the cons about these guys is that they really don't want to come up a lot. Like when you twist them, it's kind of annoying. I think maybe I just got a dud with this one. But this is strawberry sherry. You can barely see it on my skin tone. So it did kind of work as like a pinky nudie color for me. And there's two more colors. Alright, this next one's called Mango Tango. Looks to be a corally color. I apologize when I go down like that. My chair's kind of weird. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see if I can actually do it right this time. Oh my goodness. This is def a definite con about these, though. They need to work on work on that because just the constant twisting of them it's really stinking annoying we're applying this okay here's mango tango I'm trying to give you guys kind of a big swatch because my camera is kind of bad and I need to invest in another one um it's just a basic webcam eventually I get a better one <laughs> Um, yeah, and then this last one is called Creamy Cafe. Now, I'm kind of excited to have, like, a brownish color in my collection, because I don't really have one. Well, I take that back. I have ColourPop's Tootsie. I'm not like that one, but we'll see how this one works. Oi, yay, yay. You see how that came out? Why they're calling me stains, I don't know. Because they're so liquidy. They really are. And there's Creamy Cafe. So I like this color. Um, it'll probably be something I'll wear a lot. Um, but yeah. Pros, they're very pigmented. And they do apply nicely. Cons, they're kind of misleading. Um, they're more of a liquid lipstick than they are a stain. There's not really much gloss to them. Or I just personally didn't see much gloss to them. Um, and definitely the twisty, the twisting cap to apply the product. It's really annoying. And yeah, so I mean, it can go either way. Um, I'd recommend them for the pigmentation. I wouldn't recommend them for the application though. But all right. And there you guys have it. Alright. And yeah, I'll post a couple videos. A couple videos. I'll post a video regarding Dollar Tree's business practices and stuff like that for any of you that are interested. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys will stick around. I, again, apologize for this hiatus. It's just, you know, moving and stuff like that. If you've ever moved, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Alright.